morning, Stacy. Bless you. Good morning to you. What's up, Rob? Elder Jason, bless you and good morning. Hey, good morning, good morning. Hope you guys are doing well. How was your weekend? Monday. Happy Monday to you. Bless you, Angela. Good morning. Bless you, Janet. Good morning to our prayer family. weekend was great. I had uh, hung out with my my uh, grandchildren and um, they were literally out of control. <laughs> but uh, thank God for them. Thank God. Thank God. Bless you and good morning. Bless you, Burl. I am exhausted. <laughs> Simone, good morning. Bless you. Uh, Simone is going to be with us this week instead of the fourth Friday, the third Friday. She's going to be with us this Friday, uh, fourth Friday instead of the third. I think. How it works out. I don't know. We we uh, are just grateful. Amen. Uh, thanking God for just another day. And uh, we are um, we um, uh, are looking to uh, a great week this week. Can you guys believe it that we are already at the end of this month. Uh, today is my sister Jackie's birthday. And I want to send love and uh, birthday greetings to, um, in fact, let me do this while I'm thinking about it. Because today, today uh, let me do this. My, my sister Jackie, uh, happy birthday. Excuse me. Send her a happy birthday while I'm thinking about it. Good morning, buddy. Happy birthday to, like you said, all of our July birthdays. Good morning. 
Hey, you know what I haven't asked you guys to do in a while? If you could, if you could um, share the broadcast. I know that we got our our uh, uh, folk who are always on, and we want to um, wish again all of our July birthday uh, those that are born in July. And or if you have an anniversary in uh, the month of, of um, July, I actually, it's it would have been my wedding anniversary on the 27th uh, of July. Uh, but if you got, if you were baptized or if you received Christ or if it's, there's a, um, something very significant about this month, Amen. Thank you, Gloria. Hey, Joyce, Lisa, bless you. Good morning. Rita, bless you. Good morning to you. Joyce Horton, I appreciate you so much. Shell, tonight is our class for our... Um, our um, prayer clinic. Man, I'm always excited about our prayer clinics. In the power of your name. Good morning, Anna, and happy birth month. Carolyn, is, is this your birth month or was it last month? Bless you, Elsie Ramos. Mary Ann Spencer, bless you and good morning to you. Carolyn Battle, hey Deborah, good morning to you. Jackie is her birthday is today. Angela said, July babies rock. Angela's birthday, I think, is on the 21st, right? do this let's do this um, I don't think we have any announcements uh, uh, soon we're going to be launching uh, Minister Claudette uh, and, and I think we're going to be probably doing that in September for the uh, straight talk it's going to be a great broadcast and uh, we're still trying to work out all the the uh, details for that but we're excited, excited about it. Hey, Harriet. Good morning to you. So can we do this? Can we start our scripture showers? Amen. I'm going to pray in God. We just thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning. Lord, you said where two or more are gathered in your name that you are in the midst of us. And we want to welcome your presence. We want you, Lord God, to be welcome. Have your way in our midst, Holy Spirit. 
we need you this morning like never before. And so, God, we just thank you. Thank you, Lord God, for our scripture showers. Thank you, Lord God, for the word that comes to encourage. Father, I just thank you, Lord God, for uh, all of the saints. We, we lift up, Lord God, uh, uh, Angela's cousin. Uh, we, we lift up, Lord God, Tyrone Cornelius this morning. We lift up, Lord, Russell Freeman. We lift up all the saints, Lord, and all the needs before you, Lord God. You said we can come boldly before your presence, that we can obtain help. And so, God, as we start this week out, Lord God, I'm asking for your divine help and intervention for all the saints. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Loose angels, loose angels, Lord God. Release angels to do the will of God on your behalf. In Jesus' name, have your way. We thank you for it. Thank you for Rita. Thank you, Lord God, for all the saints. Hallelujah. We bless you and honor your presence. And we give you glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to start off our scripture showers. Amen. Thank God for his presence. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Simone. Thank you, Lord. Okay, here we go. Philippians 2, 5 through 8. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians 2, 5 through 8. Amen. Thank God for his word. Let this mind be in you. What a great way to start off our scripture showers, which was also in Christ Jesus. Amen. Who being in the form of God, Thought it not robbery to be equal with God, but made of himself of no reputation, took upon him the form of a servant, and was made in the likeness of men. Being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself. This is where we need to follow his example. He humbled himself and became obedient unto death. Hallelujah. Even the death of the cross. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. Amen. That's a good word for us. Humble ourselves and become obedient. It's not about us. You know, uh, we want to glorify God. Amen. Thank God for his word. Philippians 2, 5 and 8. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody needs to say humble. Humble ourselves. Humble ourselves. Bless you, Elsie. Morning, Tawana. Bless your family. Amen. Humble yourself. Bless you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, Mary Ann Spencer. Good morning, Pam. Bless you. we go uh, Romans 8 Romans 8 is one of my favorite um, chapters amen he who did not spare even his own son think about that he didn't even spare his own son but gave him up for us all 
how will he not also how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things who will who will bring any charge against God's elect his chosen ones it is God who justifies us declaring us blameless and putting us in a right relationship with himself amen I like that can we read that again um, Romans 8 32 and uh, 33 in the amplified version it said he who did not spare even his own son but gave him up for us all how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things who will, who will bring any charge against God's elect? Amen. I always say no weapon formed against us shall prosper. His chosen ones. It is God who justifieth us, declaring us blameless and putting us in right relationship with himself. Amen. Thank God for his word. Listen, this is, this is we, one of the reasons why we do this is not we're not trying to uh just be hearers of the word but we want to be people who know how to work the word i keep saying it all the time amen anytime you need uh, uh you got something going on in your life you better find you a word if you if you got something going on in your body in your health you better find a word and work that word if you got something going on in your your finances you better work the word and if you work the word the word would work for you hallelujah some of us have been saved and we've never ever ever taken time to say it is written amen and to begin to declare the word of god we overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony and so when we when, if we can learn beloved Amen. You're going to see your prayer life is going to be more effective. The Bible said this is the confidence that we have that any time we could pray anything that's in alignment with his will or according to his will, we have the petitions that we desire of him. Amen. And so when you, when you have a situation, you got to work the word. The word works when you work it. Amen. The word of God will work for you if you learn how to take that word. And and, uh, and the Bible said, if you meditate on it day and night, you will make your way prosperous. Amen. And you'll have good success. So thank God for his word this morning. Amen. You got to work that word. Father, we just thank you. Listen, listen, if you spared not your only son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall you not also with them freely give us all things? So we thank you this morning, Lord. We are more than conquerors through you. God, we are victorious in you. We are, are, um, are great because of you that, that is in us. And, and, and so we thank you this morning for victory. We thank you for overcoming faith. We thank you this morning, God, that whatever we're facing, God, you have the answer and the solution for us. And so, God, we just thank you for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Where there is sickness, let there be healing. Because your word says that you are by your stripes that we are healed. Father, that let where there is a lack, Lord, let there be provision. Because Jehovah Jireh, the Lord, is our provider and your word says in in psalms 23 and 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 one the lord is our shepherd and i shall not want and so we just thank you for your word this morning hallelujah we 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 we, we declare your word we want the enemy to know that we are more than conquerors through you because your word says so and so we command him to back down, cease and desist in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Let's, let's learn to work this word. Let's learn to work this word. 
The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my strength in whom I trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Amen. Thank God for his word. Psalms 18 and 2. Thank you for that, Bunny. Glory. Hallelujah. Come on. Revelation 3, 20 and uh, in the NIV, and it said, God gives you an open invitation to accept him for all for who he is. Here am I. I stand at the door and knock. Amen. Thank God for his word. Thank you for that. Revelations 3. Thank you for that, um, Angela. Hey, T Doc. Good morning to you. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Isaiah 41 and 10. Fear not, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Come on, God is saying I'm with thee. Don't, you don't have to fear. Amen, I'm with you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. Um, for the Lord, um, he said, for I am thy God. Amen. And I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. Hallelujah. Somebody this morning that needs strength. Amen. Say, God, I just thank you for the strength. If he promised it, amen, he's going to bring it to pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I will help thee, and I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Psalms 20 and 7. Some trust in chariots, some in horses, but we remember the name of the Lord our God. Amen. Thank God. We remember the name of the Lord our God. We call on the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, just start off this week working the word. Work the word. Work the word. Work the word. Somebody needs to say work the word. Work the word. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mark 11, 24 and 25 in the English Standard Version. Amen. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. And when, whenever you stand praying, forgive. Wow, powerful. If you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Thank you, Lord. Amen. This word speaks for itself, man. It, it said, therefore, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you received it and it will be yours. Those things that are in alignment with God's will Ain't no need asking for something that's outside of his will. God's not going to bless us with something, amen, that's going to violate his word. And it said, but whenever you stand praying, forgive. <clears throat> Forgiveness is huge for the believer. Amen. And it said, if you have anything against anyone so that your father who is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. Hallelujah. Let's just do this. Thank you for this word in a pullum. Father, uh, this morning, Lord, if there's any one of us who is struggling with forgiveness this morning, if there's any one of us that are struggling, God, because we want to 
align ourselves with your will. Lord, help us, help us, help us, oh God, those that struggle with forgiveness. I know it's easier said than done. Help us to remember that you forgave us. Help us to remember, Lord God, that if we regard iniquity in our hearts, that you won't hear us. Help us to remember, Lord God, that we want to uh, please you. And so we do it as unto you. And so this morning, if there's any person, God, I pray that we just release them this morning. And, and, and you know what happens when we release people that we are holding offenses against? It's we release ourselves. And so um, we, we just need, we just, um, God knows, God knows um, when there's a struggle to do it. And um, I think that, and, and just from my own personal experience, a lot of times um, unforgiveness, uh, uh, some of it can stem from our childhood, how we process uh, forgiveness as a ch as a child, and so God wants to uh, go back into our my memories and um, heal us. Amen. Wherever that first offense was, you know, a lot of our offenses start with with um, family members and and siblings and um, our parents, and um, and so God wants to He wants to to uh, touch and heal our hearts. Amen. And so for those that need that this morning, amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. First John 2 and 4 in the uh, New Living Translation. Our main purpose on earth is a relationship with Jesus Christ. He says, I know him. I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth and the truth is not in him amen wow that's that's good um uh, and and anyone that says i know him and doesn't keep his commandments the truth is not in him amen and he is a liar thank you for that angela hallelujah what is his commandments what is the greatest commandment is to love God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength. And then the second is likened unto it, that we would love our neighbors as we love ourselves. That's the other thing is that people who have a hard time loving other people have a hard time loving themselves. Amen. Thank God for his word. Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the inheritance of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Amen. This is one of those words I went to have to go to court and um I had to go to court and uh, I had to, uh, I didn't have a lawyer. And I asked the Holy Spirit, I need a word. Holy Spirit, I need a word. I need a word. Holy Spirit gave me Isaiah 54. Man, I worked that word. I'm telling you, I worked that word every time fear tried to come up. I said, no weapon formed against me. Every time the enemy tried to uh, lie to me and say, man, you're going to lose. I said, no weapon formed against me. It is written. How many remember when Jesus was confronted by the enemy and he was, uh, he was trying to uh, uh, trick Jesus. Amen. He, he tempted Jesus in the same way that he tempted Adam and Eve. The lust of the eye, the pride of life, the lust of the flesh. Those were the things that Adam and Eve were confronted with in the beginning. He tried again to take Jesus down in the in the in the, um, in the uh, wilderness. When Jesus was led in the wilderness, and he tried. Jesus had fasted and was uh, feeling weak, and the enemy came up on him. And 
Jesus every time said, it is written. Get behind me, Satan. It is written. Get under my feet. It is written. Amen. Hallelujah. You got to work the word. You got to work the word if you want it to work for you. Hallelujah. You got to work it. Hallelujah. Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are servants, serv I'm sorry, you are serving the, the Lord Christ for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done and there is no partiality. Amen. Col Colossians uh, 3 and uh, 23 and 25 whatever you do work heartily as as for the Lord and not for men this is one of those scriptures that I use and I tell folk uh, whatever you do because we have been bought with a price how you live if you if you know sometimes what we do is we look at people and we do we love for people but even in your marriage Bible says, do it as unto the Lord. Amen. Love your wife as unto the Lord. Love your husband as unto the Lord. If you try to do it for them, a lot of times you get discouraged. You start looking at their imperfections and then you start changing how you act. But if we were to live this out and work this word and it said, whatever you do, Amen. Do it heartily as unto the Lord. Do it as your worship unto God. How you love your family. Do it as a worship as unto the Lord. How you love uh, your and, and the works that you do in your church. Do it as heartily as unto the Lord. If you were to give your offering, amen, every time you give an offering and stop thinking, well, oh, the pastor, he, he got too much and he I, I don't need to give nothing else to him. Listen. Just cut that out. Do it as unto the Lord. That takes the human element out of it. Amen. We're not wrestling against flesh and blood. And so everything that we do, we need to do it as unto the Lord, knowing that the Lord, you will, of the Lord, you will receive the inheritance as your reward. Amen. Hallelujah. And it said, knowing for the wrongdoers will be paid back. Vengeance are mine, saith the Lord. Amen. Come on, that's a good word for us. Thank you for that, in a pullum. Amen. Do it as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. How am I going to love my neighbor as unto the Lord? How am I going to uh, forgive as unto the Lord? How am I going to bless uh, individuals as unto the Lord. It's a part of my worship to God. Hallelujah. Husbands, love your wife as unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Stop looking at their imperfections and do what you do as unto the Lord. This is my worship for you, God. Hallelujah. How I sing, how I live, it is a worship unto you. I realize that I've been bought with a price. I am not my own. Therefore, I'm going to glorify God in my body and my spirit, amen, which belong to God. We belong to God, amen. Therefore, glorify God in your life as unto the Lord. This is for you, God. How I live my life today is for you. How I, I worship is for you. It's not for men. It's not for people and I, you know, to be eye pleasers unto to men, but it is for you and unto you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My faithfulness is as unto you. Hallelujah. Thank God for his word. Second Peter 3 and 9, the Amplified. The Lord does not delay as though he were unable to act and is not slow about his promise as some count slowness but is extraordinarily patient toward you not wishing 
for any of any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. Amen. Hallelujah. God is not slack. He doesn't sleep and he doesn't slumber. He don't miss a beat. And the Bible says that God is, he, it, some, some think that God is slow or slack, uh, but God isn't slow or slack. He's just patient. If he were to come back right now, most of us, if not all of us, wouldn't have make it, wouldn't make it. And I believe that God is delaying his coming because he's given us opportunity to get ourselves together. He's given us an opportunity to get our lives on track. Amen. Hallelujah. A lot of these saints uh, that are, uh, you got a lot of the, the, the saints, I'm telling you, uh, we've lost some amazing saints, but they put their time in. They fought a good fight. Amen. They, they were ready. God is, God is giving us, he said, I don't want any to perish, but I want all to come to repentance. I want you to get it together. Thank you for that, uh, Harriet. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Help us. Bless you, Karen. Amen. Romans 4, 17. And call those things which be not as though they were. See, that's, that's a work the word scripture right there. And call those things which be not as though they were. When in the beginning, when the world was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep, God said, he, but the Bible said the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, God said, God worked the word. Amen. God said, call those things which be not as though they are. Begin to speak life. Begin to speak your healing. Begin to speak your deliverance. Amen. As unto the Lord. And say, listen, it, let there be. Let there be healing in my home. Let there be breakthrough in my finances. Let there be salvation in my kids and my grandchildren. Let there be amen deliverance and let there be peace and let there be love and let there be forgiveness let there be joy let there be hope amen and let there be deliverance and let there be amen hallelujah supernatural power glory speak those things Thank you, Lord. Let there be healing right now. Healing, healing, healing. Touch the joints and the marrow and the bones. God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody better learn to work this word. Thank you for that word for us, Karen. Come on, speak those things. Speak those things. Work the word. Work the word. Come on, every now and then, everybody just needs to say, work the word, work the word, work the word. Satan tries to come at you. Stop getting all emotional and, and work the word. God is not, he's not moved by all of our pity parties and all of our, God is moved by his word. Glory. Better get bold with God's word. Amen. The enemy, you know what the enemy, he don't care you go to church. He don't care you sing in the choir and that you're on the usher board. The, the, the one that gives him trouble is the one who knows how to work that word. Come on. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe and set on high, far above evil. Amen. You want to be in a safe place? Listen, they got all these safe houses and witness protection. 
amen, in the natural and all this other kind of stuff, but the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runs to it and is safe and set on high, far above evil. Amen. Proverbs 18, uh, 10. We walk around fearful. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. Hallelujah. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Glory. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Work it, work it. Thank you, Lord. Work the word. If you work that word, and it's going to work for you. Somebody needs to work it over your children. Come on. Work that word over your family. Work that word over your situation. Amen. The word will not return void. Hallelujah. Colossians 4 and uh, 3, open to them a door for the word to speak the mysteries of Christ. Amen. Thank you, Francine, for that. Come on, family, work the word. Work the word. Work the word. Work that word. Work that word. Work that word. Work that. The enemy don't like it when we work the word. You don't even care you pray as long as you ain't oh god shut up oh god if you listen 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 he don't care if you're praying as long as you don't work the word and so listen he he, he can't stand up to the word when jesus was praying jesus said it is written see jesus knew how to work that word jesus jesus was the word he worked the word. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. Amen. Psalms 34. Glory to God. That alarm tells me I got about 15 more minutes. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Jesus, for teaching us to work your word. Glory. Thank you, Lord. How I trust him. How I prove him. Prove his word. Glory. Thank you, Father. Bless you, Elsie. Bless you, Alanda. Thank you, Father. Come on, work that word. Work that word. James 1, 17. Amen. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, whom is no, whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning amen god is consistent every good gift every perfect gift comes from above amen from the father of lights hallelujah what i love about everything that god gives all the gifts the bible says his gifts are eternal his mercies endure forever and ever his loving kindness and tender mercies amen endure forever and so what, 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 what we need to do is we don't, we need, we thank God for houses and land and all those things are good. Amen. Understand they have expirations. Everything in this world has an expiration. But God's, all of anything that comes from the kingdom of heaven, amen, is eternal. And so... Uh, the Bible says, build your hopes on things that are eternal. Amen. Don't put your trust in where rust and death does corrupt and thieves break in and steal. They have a place 
You know what I'm saying? Money has a place, but money depreciates. But God, but God, amen. Everything in God, his word will, will endure forever. Everything in God, amen, has long, uh, eternal wealth and worth and value. Hallelujah. Thank God for his presence. Thank you for that, Gloria. Humble yourselves under the mighty hand or the mighty power of God, excuse me. And at the right time, he will lift you up in honor. Give all your worries and cares to God, for he cares about you. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. I'm telling you, when you understand the bigness of God, and, 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 and how he gives us access. First of all, it's a privilege that he gives us access to his presence. But when we come into his presence, the Bible said, you better humble yourself. Listen, humble yourself under the mighty power of God. And at the right time, he will lift you in honor and give, give all your worries and your cares. Amen to the Lord. Cast all your cares. Because God cares about you. We have a high priest who understands our pain. He understands everything that we experience. Amen. He's making intercession for us at the right hand of God. He's given us his Holy Spirit to search us and search within us and to make groanings and travail and praying the perfect will of God on our behalf. We are more than conquerors through Christ. We can't lose with the stuff we use. Amen. How many remember uh, that uh, Campbell's, they used to have a slogan, said, mm-mm, good. Amen. That's what Jesus Christ is. He's mm-mm, good. Thank God for his presence. Somebody needs to remember that slogan and just change it over for the Lord this morning. Mm-mm, good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is mm -mm good. Thank you for your presence this morning. Thank you. Bless you, Patricia. Amen. God is mm -mm good. Thank you for that word. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. And in due season and due time, he'll, he'll exalt you. You better trust him. Hallelujah. John 14 and 27. Amen peace I leave with you. That's the uh, uh, English standard version. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not, let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let them be afraid. God said, listen, I gave you some peace. I didn't give you the spirit of fear. Amen. I left you peace. <laughs> I didn't give you fear, but power and love and a sound mind. Amen. And so if you got, um, um, oh, if you got fear this morning, return to sender. How about that? <laughs> if, if you got worry this morning, no devil, return to sender. Not here, not here. God said, I gave you peace, and not as the world gives. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I know this pandemic is going on. Let not your hearts be troubled, because I give you peace. He said, when you, when you uh, make your request known unto God with thanksgiving, amen, your, your prayers through prayers and thanksgiving, make your, your request known, the peace of God which surpasses understanding will keep your hearts and minds this morning. We're going to work this word, y'all. Come on. God said, I gave you peace. Peace I left with you. If you check your mail from heaven, it's not worry that's left in there. He left you peace and not as the world. Amen. So don't let your hearts be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. God 
I just got it. Mom Burrow used to say, she used to say, God, there's nothing that we're going to experience today that we can't handle together. <clears throat> there was nothing, there's nothing that we are going to go through that with God's help that we can't handle. God is God is with us. And he said, listen, check your inbox. I leave you peace. Amen. Check your check your mailbox. When was the last time you checked your mailbox? Amen. Understand that God said, I, I'm leaving you peace. Your spiritual mailbox. Your spiritual inbox. God said, I leave you peace. I give you peace this morning every morning my mercies are new every morning reset i know it's been stressful amen reset new mercies some of us are still stressing about yesterday's problems new mercies today some of us i have 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 failed to cast our cares upon the Lord and to leave them there. We will we'll, we'll put something in prayer and then we go back and pick it up. God said, "Peace, I leave you. Don't let your hearts be troubled. I got this." morning Deborah thank you for this word 2 Corinthians 4 and 13 we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believe and therefore I have spoken we also have believed and therefore speak amen we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written according as it is written I believe and therefore I have spoken. See, this is talking about working that word. Thank you for this word. We also believe and therefore speak. God wants us, you know, oh my Lord, God wants his children, amen, to put him in remembrance of his word. God wants his children to deco Listen, 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 Linda. Listen, Felicia. Onquisha, I need you to hear me. That God wants you to do. God, listen. When 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 my when, when my when, when my grandchildren, you know, they speak what they hear. God wants us to speak what we hear. He wants us to start walking and talking like kingdom citizens who know their daddy. Can I say that again? God, Angela, God, Mally, in a pullum, God, Rita, God wants his children, Deborah, to walk around like kingdom citizens who know who their daddy is. and begin to speak boldly the word of God. Work the word. Marianne Spencer, your daddy wants you to begin to declare his word. Psalms 27 and four, one thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. Thank you, Lord. I love that. Thank you for that, Marianne. Thank you for this. In uh, Psalms 80, 86 and 5, for you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, a 
abounding in steadfast love to all those who call upon you. Uh, you are you are good and forgiving and abounding in steadfast love. Amen. For all who call upon you. Psalm 86, 5 in the English Standard Version. Amen. Bless you, Vicky. Vicky, I have been covered in grandbabies. I know I, I owe you a call, and I know Rita's in town, and I know she's over there calling me dopey. <laughs> I um I'll I'll give you a call. Amen. I've been missing my friend, her calls. I have just been, it's just been a, a uh, busy, busy, busy weekend for us. First part of the weekend I was stretched out, over exerted, and then um the Sunday I went over and Anytime I get in there with my grandbabies, they take my phone. Sometimes I don't even bring it in the house because they take it and they play their video games until the battery dies. And so my granddaughter had the phone and she said, Chief Pop, somebody's calling you. Can I just, can I tell them? Or what did she say? Um, she gets mad and she said, can I, can I, uh, I forget how she said it, but you know, she wanted to press stop so that calls uh, won't go through and, and interrupt her cartoons. God help her. And I, I was covered with babies. I'm just telling you. You know, I go to my uh, daughter's house. My arms are filled and with babies. Amen. You will keep him keep in perfect and constant peace the one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both uh, inclination and character because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. See, Harriet trying to work the word, y'all. Harriet coming up here, giving this scripture in Isaiah 26 and 3. And uh, she, she gave it up to us in the Amplified version. Normally it said, listen, I will keep you in perfect peace if you keep your mind on me. That's the quick uh, 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 version of that scripture, Isaiah and then the King James, but said, I said, you will keep in perfect and constant peace. The one whose mind is steadfast, that is committed and focused on you in both inclination and character because he trusts see that's the key to peace amen when you trust some of us aren't in peace because we don't trust the bible says don't let any person that wavereth think you're going to get anything from god the one who 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 is in perfect peace has constant is the one who's, who's, whose mind is steadfast and committed and focused on uh, God with both inclination and character because he trusts hallelujah don't tell me that you, you trust me and you're still worrying about it don't tell me that you trust me amen and 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 you still have the same uh, worry. See, I, there's a difference. The Bible says some people think that if I ask God again, that I don't trust Him. But the Lord, um, I, I look at um, most times when I think of prayer, I look at my my uh, granddaughter. I look at my own life with my mother, um, my granddaughter. She will not let it go. It ain't because she don't trust. It's because she want it right now. And she knows how to continue to knock, continue to ask, and continue to seek. That widowed woman and the unjust judge, she said, you're going to vindicate me. And if you ain't going to do it today, you're going to do it tomorrow. I'll be right back. I'll be right back, God. I'll be right back with this prayer for my children. 
because I know that you're a keeper. I know that you're a way maker. I know that you're a deliverer. Hallelujah. Because he trusts and takes refuge in you with hope and confident expectation. That just speaks it by itself. Hallelujah. in you. There we go again with that word, trust. Oh Lord, do not abandon those who search for, for you. Amen. Psalms 9 and 10, the New Living Translation. Come on. Come on. Somebody needs to say, I trust you, Lord. I trust you. Help my unbelief. God, I trust you. I trust you. For Carl Vett, I trust you, God, that you're going to give her Continue to give her your peace, Lord. Father, you're going to work it together for her good, Lord, and her family. Touch her right now. For Tyrone Cornelius, Lord, I trust you this morning. I trust, God, that you are in control of his situation and that you're going to let him know and see your goodness in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus, we send angels with him right now. Your grace is sufficient for him. Your strength is made perfect in his weakness. And we just thank you for it. Hallelujah. We trust you this morning, Lord. Forgive us of our unbelief. Forgive us, oh God. Sometimes we waver. Forgive us, Lord. How, Lord God, we don't stand on your word and declare your kingdom and your authority. Have your way. Jesus. strength and I will make your feet like hind's feet and, and make you to walk upon my high places, said the Lord. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for his word. Thank you for that, Angela. Exodus 14, 14, the Amplified, the Lord will fight for you while you only need to keep silent and remain calm. The battle is the Lord's. Be still and know that he is God. God will fight for you. If you have something the enemy is fighting you in, be strong in the Lord. Stop trying to do it in your own strength. Stop trying to do it in your logic and be strong in the Lord. God will fight for you. You only need to keep silent and remain calm. God will. <laughs> Bless you, Jerome. God will fight for you. You are my strength strength like none other come on you're my strength this morning we trust you strength like none other come on that reaches to me this is one of burl walker's favorite songs it's vicky's song i call it vicky's song but i know it's burl's song this morning we send this song and dedicate this song to you, Gloria Green. Strength like none other. 
I want to dedicate this song to Rita Ford this morning. Strength, the strength of God. Receive the strength of God this morning. Mary Ann Spencer, this song is for you. Amen. God is your strength. Angela, Angela Malvo, and, and for your family, your cousin, God is your strength. The strength of God comes to you this morning. Russell Freeman, amen. God's strength is for you and your family. I know you miss Bertha. I miss Bertha. But God is your, he, he's your strength this morning. He is your strength, amen. Hallelujah. That reaches to me. I fainted unless I believed to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's work the word. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait, uh, wait for him. The Lord is good to those whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. Amen. Lamentations 3, 24 and 25, NIV, New International Version. Amen. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. God is my help. Amen. My help comes from the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. Amen. Thank you for his strength reaches to you, bunny. His strength comes to you, Constance. Valley. The strength of God is yours. It's your portion. It's your inheritance. Amen. You got kingdom benefits. His word says, don't forget you got benefits. Amen. Who healeth all your diseases? Who forgives all your iniquities? Amen. Who upholds you with the right hand of his righteousness? Glory to God. It reaches to me. Come on, somebody needs to say that. Harriet, it reaches to me. It reaches to me. I receive that this morning. The strength, the strength, the strength. Glory to God. The strength of God. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. Punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. George Horton, peace of God is yours this morning. Strength of the Lord, the healing of God is yours this morning. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. It reaches to me. It reaches to me. to me I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they are while they live amen I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live amen Ecclesiastes 3 12 it reaches to me Thank you, Father. It reaches to me. It reaches to me. Glory to God. Come on, somebody needs to use your faith this morning. The strength of God, it reaches to me. Hallelujah. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eyes. It reaches to me, Psalms 32 and 8, NIV. Thank you for that, Anna. Thank you for this word, Constance. Jesus said, the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. That's that work in that word, Constance. The Holy Spirit will bring it to our remembrance 
you're going to get in a situation and, and the Holy Spirit is going to say, didn't I say? Didn't I tell you? Didn't I say? And you're going to say, well, I'm going to say what you said, God. Amen. Work that word. Work the word. It reaches to me. It reaches to you. It reaches. Just receive it this morning. God, I receive your word. I receive your word. The enemy can't stand up to that word, y'all. When a situation is void, we got to use, we were created in the image of God. And God said that the spirit of God moved upon it. Let the spirit of God move upon that situation and speak the word. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. Thank God for his word. Hebrews 13 and 8. Thank you for that, Simone. Exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our strong refuge, our high tower. Selah. Be still. Understand and recognize, be still and know. You better recognize. <laughs> Hallelujah. It reaches to me. It, you better re listen, you better recognize. <laughs> enough for today for Monday to get us kicked off and get us uh, kick kick yeah kick kicked off in the word of God and to get started amen you are you are my everything thank you father I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence comes cometh my help, my help, all of my help comes from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. I am not without help this morning. My help comes from the Lord. It reaches to me. God's arms are not too short. They can't reach me. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Be strengthened today. Be healed today. In the name of Jesus. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I am blessed. I am encouraged through the word of God. I am strengthened. Amen. Through the word of God. Thank you, family, for being with us. Lord, you are 
Oh Lord, you are. You're everything. We thank you this morning. Seal this prayer over all our family members. Your strength reaches to Rita, to Elizabeth, to Tyrone. God, the strength, strength of God. Help them, Lord, to see you by faith in Jesus' name in every situation. Harriet Carter this morning. Whoever's struggling this morning, the peace of God be with you. Whoever's in worry, don't even waste your breath worrying. Trust the Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Father. He's my everything. Is he your everything? Is he your everything this morning? He's enough, more than enough. Our God is able and he is more than enough. Bless you, bless you, bless you, family. Love you guys. Happy birth month to all of our uh, July worshipers and family members. God bless you. Amen. His strength reaches to you this morning. His strength reaches. The arm of God is not short. It reaches to you. Receive it. Receive it. 